But there are things that we can do about it. And that's where you guys come in. So here's one of the things that we can do. What's this? Yeah? Sorry? It's wind turbines. And wind turbines are one of the ways that you can make energy without putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. They're also amazingly cool. They're incredibly big. I had no idea how big they were, especially the ones that go offshore. And they work very well. What about this? Yeah? Solar panels. So what you can do is you can harvest the energy from the sun and turn it into electricity. That doesn't put any greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. What about this? Yeah? Sorry? This is not hydro, actually. Any other guesses? Yeah? It is a nuclear power station. And nuclear power stations do not put greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. They're also part of the mix. What about this? Now we've got hydro. Who said hydro? This is hydro energy. This is, this is using the power of a waterfall to be able to make energy. It does not put greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. OK, what about this? Now, some of you have just come in. So let's see. Anyone, any guesses as to what this is from this side? Uh, no? Anyone from this side? Yeah? Biofuel. It is biofuel. This is not actually how you make biofuel, to be honest. You actually have to turn it into a fuel before you put it in the car. But this is growing crops that make biofuel. That does not put extra greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. What about this? Yeah? It's an electric car. This is actually very cool. It's a Tesla. Uh, I've driven in one, and it's fabulous. It's an electric car. If you make the electricity in a way that doesn't put carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, this doesn't put greenhouse gases in either. What about this? Anyone? I thought I might catch you out with this. Yeah? It is exactly that. Well done. It's an autonomous car. This is a car that drives itself. Can you imagine that? It's a car that drives itself. There are already some coming out on the road. In the next five or ten years, there's going to be more of them. It's going to be really old hat to be sitting there and being a driver. You're going to be able to drive yourself. And one of the reasons that this is better is that this actually makes driving more efficient. The car itself is better at driving than you are. So it's not just about how you make energy. It's also how you use it. Uh, and these are some of the other ways in how you use it. So this is more, more efficient energy for the light bulbs. This is recycling, so we don't just throw things away, but we reuse them. This is turning things off at the wall. This is insulating your house properly. And this is being more effective at how you heat your house. There's lots of different ways that we can actually change the efficiency of how we use energy as well. This is really cool. Smart houses. Has anyone seen any of this stuff? Yeah? So there's lots of ways in which you can make buildings and houses smart. You can control them remotely from a long way away. You can make sure that different rooms have exactly the right amount of heating. You, can, uh, you could use some very clever technologies for this. And maybe you'll talk a bit about those later today. <laughs> this is just throwing stuff away. Any guesses how much food is wasted before, between, between when it's grown and when it actually makes it to our tables? Any guesses? Yeah? It's not 60%, but it's probably 40 to 50%. So nearly half of all the food that we grow just gets thrown away. And that doesn't work very well either. <laughs>